In case you've been living under a rock, AI is what everyone is talking about. I cannot scroll for two seconds without YouTube trying to force feed me chat GPT videos. But that also got me thinking, why don't I make my own AI, but in Pong? I want to make an AI that can not only beat me, but beat you. And for this, we're going to be using Unity Game Engine. After making the project, the very first thing I did was add a rectangle. And you want to know what this rectangle can do? Absolutely nothing. So I spent time creating a moving script and some code later, check this out. I can now move up and down. After adding the ball, there is one issue however, and that is there's currently only one player and that's the player we're going to train. And last time I checked, Pong is a two player game. So I'm going to need to create a custom AI for an agent to play against. And when I say make, I mean, <laughs> Thank you, uh, Josh707. I appreciate it. In your honor, this AI will now be officially named Josh. You have four different levels of difficulty. Easy, medium, hard, and extreme. My goal for this video is to have the AI model be capable of beating Josh on hard and below. I would shoot for extreme, but holy shit, I don't think there's a single AI out there capable of beating extreme. I played it and lost 10 to zero. It's pretty embarrassing considering I'm the best goddamn Pong player you'll ever meet. But really, Josh is pretty much downright cheating. It's like playing Scrabble, but you're only given words instead of letters. I know I set the difficulty, but I didn't expect it to follow the ball one for one. But who knows, maybe our agent will find a wonky strategy to beat Josh on extreme mode. Guess we'll find out. And after adding the UI and keeping track of the score, we now have a fully functional game. But if you're thinking what I'm thinking, this game looks like absolute shit. So let's spice up the graphics and make it a little less of an eyesore. Unfortunately, after some research, to get the effects I want, I'm going to need to recreate the game, but using Universal Render Pipeline, which is a pre-built scriptable render pipeline made by Unity. Essentially allows you to add fancy as shit like bloom, image blur, and a bunch of other cool image effects. Now would you look at that, it no longer looks like it was created by a 10 year old. It's pretty cool how just by adding a touch of bloom, how much more depth and polish it can make the game look. But after playing the game, I felt like there was something missing. I can't really put my finger on it. I hope you're not too disappointed. It's not like you had a chance to yes, win. as if my confidence wasn't low enough. Whenever Josh scores, a sexy Australian man attacks my ego. And holy cow, I spent way too much time on this. I got a little carried away. I might have added 40 different AI voice lines, but what's done is done. And before we get into the training, let's talk about how this all works for a second. So I'm using a type of machine learning called reinforcement learning. Our agent is being controlled by a neural network. Think of this neural network as the agent's brain. It has input layers, hidden layers, and output layers. The input layers are what we tell the agent. It's the information we're feeding it. And the output layer is the action our agent takes upon receiving information from the hidden layer. So there's up, down, and nothing at all. Those are the three actions our agent can take. So that's why we have three output layers. And the way we communicate all this is by giving our agent rewards and punishments based on certain action it does. For example, when it hits the ball, we're going to get a positive reward because that's the type of behavior we want to encourage. As the model continues to play and learn, it becomes better and better at making its own decisions until theoretically, eventually able to consistently hit and predict the ball. It was like when I started playing baseball. I was really shit and bad at first, but through enough hard work and dedication, I was, well, I was still shit, bad example. You get what I mean though. All right, let's jump into the training. A little background for you guys, our agent will be facing against Josh on hard mode. And once I can start consistently beating Josh on hard, I'll be ramping up the difficulty to extreme. And the reason we're doing this is because our agent can only get as good as its opponent. If Josh is on easy mode, there's no room for improvement. So this way, the only skill gap is my code and not its environment. So about after an hour of training, this is the result so far. It's looking pretty good. 
it's consistently scoring against Josh on hard mode. So what we're gonna do is now up the difficulty to extreme and see how well it does against that. So after training the agent overnight, <laughs> this is the result. It hasn't been able to beat Josh on extreme, unfortunately. I was kind of hoping it would be, but Josh is just too fucking good. It can manage the score every now and then, but it can't really do it consistently. However, I wasn't able to beat the agent, so for this video, I'm going to consider that as a win. I did release the game, so if you want to play against Josh or the agent, uh, there's a link in the description. Tell me in the comments if you're able to beat her or not. And that about wraps it up for this video. I appreciate you so much for making it this far. I'm currently making a Flappy Bird game, so stay tuned for that. And that about wraps it up. See you in the next one.